Now it's on to edge pairing. So what you want to do is you want to find paired edges. And if you don't have any, like I do, just take edges, like here's a or an orange and yellow. Then find another orange and yellow. Here it is. Now, take this center and match it up with that. Take this piece, this color, the color that's facing you, and match it with that piece. Then do that, 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 and that. Now, we have to find another one. And do the same thing. Match this front color up with that one. Then do the same thing. Then match the edges up like this. Then bring it up, over, and down. Then bring them back to normal. So just keep on doing that until you have all the edges done. So we have a green and orange here, and a green and orange there. And just keep on rotating them and stuff like that. Until you get an edge like this, then bring it up, over, and down. Then realign it. Realign the centers. Now here we have the same pieces, but there. Wait, never mind. So yeah, just keep on doing that. until you have this which is a tredge bring up over and down rotate the back now here we have the same pieces but these two colors match up if that happens, rotate it twice so that piece matches up. So when you rotate it, it matches up. Because if it's like this, it'll be flipped. So just keep on finding edges and bringing them down. Then... So, yeah. And if you have them and they're flipped and you have one over there, rotate over there. Then bring it over so they match up. Then do the flipping algorithm, which is R, F, I, U, R, I, F. Then rotate, the, then bring the centers back to normal. And you have paired it. Now when you have one more to replace, you can't just go and do that because we have that. What you want to do is you want to have it so when you rotate it, you push it out of the way. Then you bring it over and bring it back down. Then you have filled that. Then all we have to do is fill the bottom layer. So. We can pair them up right now and bring it up, over, and down. Then rotate the centers back to normal. Now, we have them where they're paired up together and we need to find the other one right here. 
Now rotate it over so it forms our tredge or triple edge. Bring it up, over, and down. And rotate the cinders back to normal. And we have it again. So make a tredge. Then do the same thing. Bring it up, over, and down. And rotate it over. Now, when we make our tredge, we don't have any way to replace it. So, first we have to bring one of these empty spaces on top. And to do that, bring it up, over, and down. Then, form your tredge and bring it up, over, and down. And rotate the sensors back to normal. Now, we have this. And our other one is right there. Make sure they're like this. If they're across from each other, then it won't work. Have them face each other. So then, do that. Then perform the flipping algorithm again. R, U, F, R, F, I, U, R, I, F. Then bring the centers back to, nor to normal. And when you have it like this, where these two are connected and right, and when you have these two connected but wrong, rotate these over and, per and perform the flipping algorithm. R, F, I, U, R, I, F. And rotate the sensors back to normal and you have done and you have done the last two edges congratulations you, all we have to do is solve it like three by three and I will link a tutorial right in the description down there or right on the yellow or right here So, congratulations. All you have to do is solve it like three by three. This concludes the tutorial.